Self-leveling compounds are an indispensable system component on today's building sites. They are used not only to smooth out irregularities and to plug gaps in concrete surfaces and floor screeds, but also to ensure optimum absorbency of the substrate. A specified level of uniform absorbency over the entire surface is particularly important when textile and elastic coverings are installed. This is even more important nowadays as luxury vinyl tiles and big format tiles are increasingly used in buildings. The flooring compounds themselves have to meet very stringent requirements in terms of emissions. They should, therefore, contain special low-emission polymer binders that provide the flooring compound with its self-leveling properties but also keep emissions to a minimum. Winnipas dispersible polymer powders and dispersions from Wacker are a sure guarantee of high-quality self-leveling compounds. Special lab tests ensure that the quality of the flooring compounds never varies. That's because Winnipas improves the reliability and durability of the flooring laid in new buildings or renovation projects. First of all, the floor must be leveled exactly so as to provide a smooth, flat subfloor for a new floor covering. Holes, cracks, grooves and other irregularities need to be leveled out. This is done with a self-leveling compound modified with Winnipus polymer powder, which this pump truck pumps into the hall. To make this process possible, the subfloor has to be prepared carefully. The edge insulation strips keep the self-leveling compound away from doors, windows and frames, but their main function is to secure the border joint. The next step in preparing the floor is to apply a primer. The low-emission Winnipas dispersion used here binds any remaining dust, increases the bond strength, and prevents air from rising out of the subfloor. These preparation steps are necessary to ensure that the self-leveling compound will function properly. The correct application is a joint effort by several workers. While one person holds the hose, another evenly applies the leveling compound to the floor. To ensure uniform leveling, the compound is drawn off with a metal blade and air is removed with a spiked roller. Perfectly matched work steps ensure a uniform, high-quality subfloor ready for installation. This thin layer application is made possible by polymer modification with Class L or F Winnipass products which improve the adhesion and mechanical properties such as deformability as well as flexural and compressive strength. In underlayments, for example, the polymer modification increases crack resistance or in the case of overlayments, abrasion resistance. The workers only need two hours for a 550 square meter area. Once the self-leveling compound has been applied, it can be walked on after only two hours. The workmen did a great job. The new floor covering can now be installed on this uniform and level subfloor. The special formulation of the self-leveling compound makes the fast drying process possible. Self-leveling compounds must create smooth, void-free surfaces. Modification with polymer binders is the key to fulfilling these market demands. With Winnipus L and F grades, Quacker offers a broad portfolio specifically developed for this application. A typical formulation consists of many ingredients. The inorganic binder system ensures fast strength development and rapid self-drying. Retarder and accelerator provide sufficient pot life but rapid curing. An adjusted sieve line of the fillers in combination with stabilizer and superplasticizer is important for good rheology and stability of the formulation as regards bleeding and sedimentation. Winnipus polymer powders allow for the adjustment of the flow and self-healing properties as well as defoaming and workability of the flooring compound.
In our technical centers, we carry out application tests according to EU standards as well as special WACKER in-house methods to ensure the consistent quality of the flooring compound and support of our customers. One key requirement for self-leveling compounds is good flow properties. Flow is optimized with special rheologically modified Winnipeg grades with an enhanced plasticizing effect. Wacker has developed its own test method to determine the leveling properties of the ready-mixed compounds. First, the compound is stirred with a dissolver for one minute. After four minutes, the first ring is lifted. This process is repeated with the other two rings, which are lifted after five minutes and 15 minutes respectively. Ring filling and draining times can be adjusted based on self-leveling compound requirements. After the compound has cured, the diameter of the resultant area is measured and assessed visually. For the determination of flow characteristics of leveling compounds, there's also European test method EN12706. Whereas this standard gives information only on flow properties, the WACKER test also reveals additional data regarding the self-healing ability of the flooring compound. Excellent flow properties are indispensable for high-quality self-leveling compounds to ensure smooth and even spreading on the floor. To measure the flow time, Wacker uses a test method involving a Ford cup. The self-leveling compound is poured into a Ford cup with a 6mm outlet nozzle. The nozzle is closed with a finger. Excess material is scraped off with a spatula. The nozzle of the Ford cup is now opened and a stopwatch is switched on at the same time. The compound flows onto the glass plate and spreads out evenly there. When it has all run out, the stopwatch is stopped. The flow time from the Ford cup and the achieved slump of the compound are determined. This information about the kinematic viscosity is especially important for pumpable compounds. Furthermore, the scratch resistance, cracking, surface formation, and any edge floating can be assessed. Winnipeg's dispersible polymer powders influence the properties of the self-leveling compound and provide an excellent defoaming effect. Low air content is important for good flow properties and high mechanical strength. To measure this effect, the air content of the fresh mortar is determined. When testing the air content by the air pressure compensation principle, the pressure is equalized between the container filled with mortar and another with compressed air. The pressure drop due to the air content of the mortar is measured on a manometer and read off as percentage air content. Self-leveling compounds must bond well to the substrate. Winnipeg's dispersible powders increase bond strength quite considerably. The bond is measured by determining the tensile adhesion strength on concrete slabs. After the self-leveling compound is applied and stored, the pull head plates are bonded onto the test areas. After the adhesive cures, these plates are pulled off by a piston at a predetermined rate of loading. The pull-off force and the area of the piston are used to determine the tensile adhesive strength. Flexural and compressive strengths are two of the most important parameters when it comes to self-leveling compounds. These factors are tested to determine the compound's load-bearing capacity. The flexural and compressive strengths of a compound are significantly improved by the addition of Winnipeg's dispersible polymer powders. 
In order to test the flexural strength of a specific compound, a 4x4x16 four by four by specimen prism of the compound is prepared and stored in line with the standard. Afterwards, the specimen is broken into two halves through flexure. The maximum cohesion within the matrix can be measured via this three-point bending test. Winnipass significantly enhances the flexural strength of the system. Each half of the prism is tested afterwards for strength during compression. The load is increased at a constant rate until fracture occurs. The ratio of compressive strength to flexural strength correlates to the cracking tendency. Winnipass lowers this ratio, thereby reducing cracking. To avoid damage, self-leveling compounds must be free of shrinkage and cracking during hardening. Wacker has developed the hindered shrinkage test for determining this in the lab. In the hindered shrinkage test, a perforated panel is placed in a silicone mold and then the flooring compound is poured in. The dried beam is removed from the mold. The curvature that occurs as the compound hardens is then measured to provide an indication of the compound's shrinking and swelling properties. The test specimen on the left shows very good properties with almost no curvature, whereas the one on the right displays high shrinkage values. Control over the setting behavior is particularly important for self-leveling compounds, so detailed studies are needed on how the individual formulation ingredients react with each other. Thermocouples are used to measure the heat released as the compound sets. The heat curve reveals important clues about how the compound sets, and these provide insights into how easy the compound is to process and how well the finished floor will wear. Strength development over time of the self-leveling compound is determined by means of ultrasonic equipment. A software developed by Wacker makes it possible to identify the reaction of the different cement phases. Wear resistance is a key property for areas subjected to such heavy loads as forklifts. Wear resistance is determined with the roller abrasion tester, specified in a European standard. In this test, a steel roller exerting a force of 2,000 Newton is moved back and forth over a specimen 10,000 times. The rolled surface is scanned before and after the rolling wheel test and the abraded volume is calculated. Additionally, the abraded weight can be determined. The self-leveling compound, modified with Winnipass, is able to resist the high load of the wheel because of the improved cohesive strength and toughness provided by the polymer. The damage of the non-polymer modified sample, especially at the points where the wheel is turning, is clearly visible. This test method is used to determine the resistance to rolling stress of self-leveling compounds with floor coverings. The purpose of this method is to investigate the self-drying properties of flooring compounds and the readiness for subsequent floor coverings. Concrete slabs with applied self-leveling compounds and a defined floor covering made of PVC are subjected to 10,000 cycles with a highly loaded chair caster. 
The most important thing for this test is the time for application of the floor covering after application of the self-leveling compound, because this time determines the readiness for covering of the self-leveling compound with the final floor covering. After the rolling wheel test has been completed, six drilling points are to be arranged and the drilling process is started. If one or more of the floor covering discs have become completely detached, the test specimen has failed the test. If none of the discs became detached, the self-leveling compound has passed the test. Flooring compounds modified with Winnipeus dispersible polymer powders can be safely applied in both thick and thin layers and are also hard wearing. Winnipeus L&F products enable the formulation of low emission self-leveling compounds with and without finish coats and thus make a key contribution to a healthy indoor climate. The majority of Winnipeus grades that contain vinyl acetate can be certified as Winnipeus Eco according to the mass balance approach. For more information on the mass balance approach and available Winnipeus Eco grades, please visit www.wacker.com.